<laughs> All right, should we get this bitch started? Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Off Axis Podcast, episode number one. We're here joined by Gabriel Guardian what? from the band Immortal Guardian. He actually uh, set up this whole podcast thing. Mason Fleet from Denver, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> and Crazy Kyle Banks. We got to talk about the coronavirus, first of all, because that's oh the topic that everyone's talking about. No, we don't. About. Everybody's talking fuck? about it, so we don't need to talk about it. Well, it's going to be funny when we listen to this in a few years and we go, <laughs> fuck, right. were we one of those guys that actually, d- oh, we did it, whatever. Right, we're going to see it, like, who is, who is like, This is going to blow over, pers- like, really. This is going to be, like, the same thing, like that, um, like that one virus thing with the, Which with the Brad Swiper? Pitt and the. That, SARS That thing Or bird I don't flu know. Swine flu Swine flu Remember swine flu That was awesome yeah, I was I, in high I, school I lived through that We yeah. got double spring break Yeah it like And that's what the kids Are getting you today got, You got spring break Yeah we had like, spring break And then it was like Wait don't come back to school It's not safe yet You guys get another week oh, off no, we were no, like I went, What I went to a private school They are just like Nope come to school Oh it, it was amazing what. We like, were yeah, celebrating crazy. And, I, and I heard that In my hometown The kids got off The same way we did So I was like Oh, there's nothing to worry about. It's just, <laughs> it's just the same thing. You yeah, know? no. Uh, I heard in Ohio they're having like a three week spring break. That's dope. What? Yeah. <laughs> just well, time to be yeah, a kid. Th- yeah. That's like the most like place where you're gonna get it <laughs> at school with a bunch of kids who are like picking their noses and like fucking licking the dirt and shit. That's crazy. Well, it depends on what they're doing now instead of going to school. Are they staying home or are they going out? Dude, places, kids got internet you know? now, man. If if I was in a stay home from school, I'd probably just be on the internet all right, day. Why why aren't they on their iPads and shit doing doing class nah, via via vid, video? I don't know. I think all our resources are. I don't know. <laughs> I, I saw somewhere somewhere was doing that uh, for snow days instead of canceling school. They're oh. like, oh, you got to do your work on your iPad now. True that. So imagine if school systems just updated like phones. That'd be cool. Wow. It's getting there. <laughs> like I said, most schools are, are using iPads now. And then you just have Gabriel up there just Googling something real quick. <laughs> All right, this is what we're going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. Figures it out real quick. They just start. Do any of you guys know how to fight a grizzly bear? That's what we're Googling today. <laughs> just random uh, topics. What bear, would, bear spray? That's the <laughs> bear thing. spray. Or a gun. That's about yeah. it. Yeah. What yeah. do you think mm. your reaction would be if a bear was coming at you? I'd at least try and get try one and, like, punch in the face. It. You just think so? One punch in the face. Because I know I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, I that's just wanna, true. If I live, I can at least say I punched a grizzly it, bear depending how like, Depending how far the bear is, if I had enough time to Google, does a bear have balls? Uh, and would it hurt if I kicked it? Oh, him? no, they do. If I don't have time to Google, then the face. You know, uh, you just go for it. They the, do, but I don't think you're going to get to the backside of it in time. Well, Can you imagine like just, ten foot you know, just give, it's like giving the bouncer just a good, uh, and running away. Uh, <laughs> you do the bear, you know, right. Wouldn't, wouldn't you think if it if you punched it like perfectly square in the, in the nose, it'd be like, uh, and you'd be able to get it. Oh away. man. I don't know. Maybe in the, the eye. situation. Yeah. Like if you came through this door right here. Oh no, I just like, sit. I just sit here. What would we all do right yeah. now? Like, I'd, no. sit here, like, I'd sit here. I'd sit here. Kick it in the balls. Even like a, <laughs> even like a, like you a tiger. You distract it while I go kick it in the balls. You know, like a tiger or any exotic animal. Can you just imagine just being in the situation where you're like going from just a normal day, getting water from in your village, and then you're like, oh, fuck. That's <laughs> a, a tiger. Lion. I feel That's like a fucking tiger, yeah. <laughs> my adrenaline would just go so through the roof that I wouldn't even really be like, I would just be like reacting, like full like perception. like. But how would you or, be like, reacting? Whatever happened, like, would happen? I wouldn't be like... What should I do? Should I kick him in the balls or like? No, I don't know, oh, like of course, yeah, you got to. No, it see, would just I be like would whatever it, would happen would just like I would feel like I would. Wouldn't, go yeah, like, wouldn't you, know, you know, be time looking for an escape route? Like, wouldn't that be number one? Yeah, like, probably, be, probably. If, if if it was if there was like some kind of tree or something, the first thing I would try to do is climb a tree. But if it's a, a big rather, cat, they can just jump up the tree. Oh yeah, cat. Like, no. I'm still going back to bear. Oh yeah, well or bears platypus. can climb. Bears can climb trees really well. Fuck, that's scary. Yeah. Really well, and they can swim really. I wonder well. if the yeah. coronavirus affects animals. No, I think it came no. from animals. Oh yeah, supposedly it came from like bat stew. Yeah, supposedly is that like a thing? Or is there's a also a conspiracy theory yeah. that's saying that you know the, the government started it. The whole thing is a it. conspiracy theory. Yeah, in two weeks, 
We're going to be on to the next subject and everything's going to go back to usual. Yeah. I saw somewhere that a lady in a book, you know, foresaw, you know, somewhere in 2020, there would be a disease that would take over and everybody would be in mass hysteria and then it would kind of die off a little bit and then it'd come back really strong and then completely disappear. So far, the first half of that's happened. I can't wait mm. for like the Kardashians and stuff to keep posting shit so America can go back to normal. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we that's why you don't think it's back topic. to normal. Yeah, the fact that people listen to when you see it, when them. you see the entertainment industry just keep start posting again like things are normal, they're gonna be like, ah, oh, okay, cool. But the fact that everybody's canceled is what's making everybody. Because at first it was like it's not that bad. But South by Southwest is just being a bunch of pussies. Yeah, well, you every, know. That's gonna, and then it was like, wait, opinion, like, so is Disney, and so is NFL, and so is NHL, and the, oh, oh shit, this is fucking is. serious. And then it gets, and then you really start questioning because your favorite band, your favorite concert, your favorite this, your favorite festival, everything starts getting canceled. Then it makes you go, oh shit. But that's just it. And I don't think job, it's the people then, that are going to it. I don't think they're yeah. afraid of it because they still want to yeah. go to it. Like I was, I was supposed to go to a hockey game on Thursday night, but it got canceled Thursday morning. Yeah, and I was just like, I would still go. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird because most people still would go. Yeah, yeah, everybody like, was still going to stuff. I went know, to a show like two nights ago. I was like, "Oh, coronavirus! Oh, fuck!" But I still want to go see this guy. <laughs> yeah, well, we went to shows what two? No, a week and a half ago, we went to yeah. a Cirque du Soleil show. Yeah, that's true. And then you Everything went a couple days later. Like, I wonder if they're gonna. I wonder if they're gonna put a pause to all these Vegas shows. I know they, they have a lot today. My girl, she plays in a in a Vegas bands out here, and a lot of the shows got canceled or yeah. postponed. I saw and, that today. Yeah. They just they just posted it today. All of my California shows got canceled already. It's like, yeah, I got a summer gig. He's got a summer gig. I'm kind of wondering if that's gonna. We get all have canceled. summer gigs. Yeah. Gabriel has a whole entire tour scheduled. Yeah. At the end of this month, we have a 40 day tour, and Jeez. I'm kind of just waiting till the last minute to to see if this thing either cools down. Yeah. If there's like a, you know, just I got the vaccine. I got yeah. the so like bad back to the future. Right. Mad scientist. And then, every, and then everybody I went 20 like 20 years opens forward their stuff and I got again. the vaccine <laughs> from the year 2015. But, um, I'm really hoping for that. If not, then unfortunately we're going to have to just do what literally everyone else in America and every, everywhere has done and just cancel. I'm going to not cancel and I'm going to throw more events. <laughs> yeah. I'm just For like, anybody everyone's going to come to mind. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to sound like a, like a conspiracy theorist, but I haven't really seen anything really about this whole thing. You know, it's I haven't mostly seen, on the media. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of numbers and I've seen a lot of like, yeah, this but is, number anybody can make a chart yeah, and yeah, say, th- you know, this is this what's is happening that. right now in Italy and in China and whatever, but I have yet to see like I don't know, in the digital age where there's a phone, you know, video of everything. Yeah. It seems like there's, there's more coronavirus the- than there is Black Friday fights. Yet the day after Black Friday, we have like a thousand new fight videos on yeah. the internet. But after a, a worldwide split global epidemic we have zero videos of that yeah know. i've seen two of people being quarantined i haven't yeah. seen anybody like in a hospital with it i haven't seen yeah. i don't know it's kind of weird like i i know that it's definitely a virus it's definitely a thing and it can definitely uh sicken the the elder mm-hmm. i think but just like any other flu just like any other sickness oh if, yeah if you're sensitive or you have a very weak immune system and then a flu comes and knocks you over like a like a domino, you know. It just is what it is. But the fact that I think this one's being hyped so hard that like people are fucking losing their shit and losing their jobs and losing buying all the TP and food and man, I went to the store just to go buy some like fabric for the bus, <laughs> and the fucking shelves were wiped. I was like blown away at how l- literally everything was gone. Canned food and toiletries and cleaning products and this could be a marketing scam by the cleaning industry <laughs> could be yeah <laughs> that would actually be genius on their part if they did that yeah it's kind of i don't know it's kind of crazy how did they like i don't know i was just thinking and i saw this meme or this thing online i don't know i'm sure you guys seen it but it says like isn't it a coincidence that every election year 
It says. I saw that. Yeah. 2002. It was this. 2004. It was Ebola. Every like swine two years. And, since I don't know. Like 2010. It's happened, and then before that, it was every four years. So I was like, Siri, make a reminder in four years to invest into cleaning right? products before the next election year. Yeah. I was gonna put a fuckload of stocks into Tylenol. Not Tylenol. Tylenol too, but um, Lysol and fucking Glade or whatever the fuck. Everything. Charmin. Shoot. It's the whole. TP industry, put it in the shit, literally. And then uh, just it's watch crazy. the shit do its thing naturally and just have, there's a new one. It's going to be called Dos Equis virus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's racist. <laughs> Modelo virus. <laughs> it's model O virus. We're, we're, we're simply oh calling it Modelo virus. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we don't, we believe it might have started in northern Russia. By the North Pole, an elf was eating a uh, reindeer leg. <laughs> reindeer leg. <laughs> and it was uncooked and had a bunch of sex with chimpanzees. <laughs> so it's this new yeah. intense the North Pole, breed, there's chimpanzees, huh? It's this new intense, you know, <laughs> disease taking <laughs> over mankind. It's like, why does it gotta be monkeys again? No, but oh. the rumors I've heard of where heard Corona comes one. from is kind of funny. It's like, you know, it's, it, it's just like those, uh, Walking Dead or, or the Resident Evil movies where you're just like, everyone's freaking out about how to kill the zombies and where they should go. And I can't help myself ask, but how did all this shit start? Like it never <laughs> yeah. explains how it all starts. It's always like the main character walks out of a coma or like some situation like, what? <laughs> what oh, it's a zombie world now. <laughs> and that's kind of what happened. He just accepts it. He's just like, oh, okay. This yeah. is normal. And as Americans, that's what we did. It's like the shit was on the news. Like coronavirus outbreaks in China. It's like, and they've been in like a civil war too. Like what else is new? like, it's kind of crazy, but we're desensitized to all this crazy news coming from the other side of the world. And then when you start hearing this thing is coming this way, you're like, what? Cause in uh, American history, it's been God knows how long since we have war on our actual soil. No one comes this way. That's true. We go over there. We fight in other places. No one has ever fought on the shores of, you know, China's never invaded us on the shores of Florida or the great battle of Texas, you know, and it's like the French invaded. Yeah, no, Alamo. no, it's a, we've always had their own thing. So for something to be happening in our soil, it's tripping the, everybody the fuck out. We're buying all the toilet paper. <laughs> but if you go to the vitamin and the supplement aisles, they're fully stocked. Yeah. The, the only thing that can save you from Corona is a good immune system. And the only thing that you can take at the store is fully stocked mm. and everything is wiped out. The airborne and the vitamins, all the shit. Oh, even the food nowadays. It's just fucking stock. But frozen pizzas. Everybody, oh, yeah. Everybody's stocking pizza. up on food, yeah. water, toilet paper. I have like and that's about a thousand it. garden of life bars. You'll, you'll be set, dude. Damn, you'll be set like till like, you know, three, Damn four months. <laughs> till the next shipment comes in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 17 minutes. Shit. That's how long we've been recording for? Yeah. Oh, bad. shit. I was looking at that five next to I was like, damn, we've only been talking for five minutes. <laughs> no. 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Right then. So Three seconds ago. Five seconds ago. <laughs> ready for the off-axis games? Kyle, are you ready to compete? I guess I'm, I'm ready to compete. Am I ready to do stuff? Eh. I'm still like getting back into it because I don't jump that much when I'm in Phoenix. Well, never when I'm in Phoenix. There's yeah, no there's tramp walls up there. Go, huh? You gotta yeah. get your own. Well, I'm about to start, start a thing moving. In Phoenix, where are you moving? Everywhere. Where do you live? Phoenix. You live in Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, so you can for in for the event tomorrow? Yeah. Nice. And where do you live? Me. Right there. Right across <laughs> the hall. Across the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I could see my room from here. <laughs> yeah. You gonna be here tomorrow? What time's your event? Big Air starts at twelve, and then it goes on till four thirty or so. What? That's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's cool. So come, it'll be crazy. There's gonna yeah. be a lot of people here. There's like a photographer meetup, and then uh, it's gonna be a bunch of crazy acrobats. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I figured inviting a bunch of photographers was a go-to move. Gonna yeah. have endless content of it. <laughs> yeah. It just comes out naturally. Yeah, you just tag them. Sick event for them to take photos of. You yeah, know? yeah, because it's fun for everybody. Yeah, it's like cool shit to take photos of, 
and then it's fun shit to watch. I'm gonna hear to just watch yeah, all the like madness. It's like a free show. True. Yeah. Gabriel, you want to play for free? <laughs> Unless I can play jump, I'll play Van Halen's jump at the bottom of the jumper, <laughs> where thin little shades. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, uh, hey Gabe, that's cool that you volunteered to do this, man, but you can't play the same song for three hours. <laughs> you got a job. <laughs> You'd That's only awesome. you'd only play it when people are jumping. The little guitar. <laughs> hey, you! Who said that? <laughs> That's always been my favorite part of the song. He's like, <laughs> yells shit, and then answers himself. Hey, you! Who said that? <laughs> Tell me how you feel. <laughs> oh man, good times. So um. Right now, we are below the earth, coming at you live from Las Vegas. This would be a great tornado shelter. Yep. Till the roof rips off. <laughs> yeah, till the roof <laughs> the takes roof. the floor off. Till the roof takes off. No, but honestly, I this is only like the second basement I've seen in Vegas. Like, I don't even know people in Vegas. Like, I don't think they usually have basements in Vegas. You can, yeah, I I looked on Zillow and nowhere had a basement. This place wasn't even marked as somewhere having a basement. It just happened to have a basement that they forgot to <laughs> There's mark. There's tons of basements. In Dude, Vegas. so really? um, yeah. so so so, how old is his house? I have no idea. It's like I think it's, it's like, pretty new. Actually, it's like, yeah, it looks like really new. clean. Like the wood is like th- fresh as fuck. I want to say t- 2013. Yeah, this is nice, or dude. It's fucking barn house. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> how, how long do 13. roofs last? If you do them right, depends on how much you spend on it. Anywhere from ten to thirty or forty years. So then our roof's fucked up, so we gotta go by it. It's gotta be at least ten years old. For sure. You think so? I think, think it's two thousand three. I would guess two thousand four. I have no idea. We'll figure this out. Isn't soon. it crazy that two thousand four doesn't sound that long ago, but it's like right. sixteen years ago? <laughs> yeah, crazy. I was in high school. Yeah. You were in high school? My well, freshman year. Weren't years. we all in high school? Or no. How I old are you? I wasn't yet. 29? I thought you were no, only a year older than me. 29. You're 29? So, yeah, I'm I was in high school. No, you weren't. Because I, I started graduated. high school in 2007. When did you? 2006, what? 2007. When did you graduate? 2010. Same. Yeah, 2008. Me too. 2010. Yeah, so, from 2008, <laughs> I started. That's when I graduated at the end of the year. So, it's 2000. Seven, six, five, Dude. four. That's when I started because the, the beginning of the school year like starts in September. Two grades ahead of me, but you're only a year older. I was really smart. <laughs> Dude, I skipped not grades, Maybe. age five. I just skipped age five. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, <laughs> I got the I body can't. of a 25 year old, but I'm really 36. <laughs> Shit, I'm 28. I got the hair of a 40 year old, 50 year old. I have the hair of a five year old. <laughs> it's like patches. I got I got the hair of a sixteen year old teenage girl. <laughs> angry girl. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I'm gonna color my hair no matter what my parents think. <laughs> How long have you had that hair for? Dude, I've had I've literally had red hair now for like seven years. It's crazy to say out loud. Wow. Yeah, just something you you know you 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 uh you do it and you're like yeah this this makes sense okay yeah I'm in a band you know, and then you just kind of stick to it. <laughs> you know? yeah, now it's your image. And uh, yeah, it becomes your image. Like like when when people do like uh, you know when the when we when I was doing the fire the EDM thing, a lot of kids doing the fan art. That's that's how they would like, no matter how good or how bad the the figurines were. The red hair and the glasses were always there. With the, <laughs> but I was like, okay, that's how like, people, I guess, per- perceive me. It's like that. And then the, yeah, the other character weird. was blue hair. And, the, you know, <laughs> but um, over the years, now when I look at like throwback, was it TBTs or like flashback? When I'm looking through yeah. old content, I go, how old is this shit? I don't even know. I look exactly the same. Yeah. So it almost became that, you know, it's like, like you look at Slash, it's like, when the fuck did this shit come out? It's just a fluff of hair and a hat, you know, and he's been like, and that he's for like, so dude, long, I'm sure man. that's really uncomfortable, you know, to constantly have hair in your face and wear shades 
when it's dark as shit, you know? <laughs> That's true. Who <laughs> shades the doors? He's and like, stuff. inside there, like, fuck, I gotta yeah. stick to this. Yeah, he gotta <laughs> stick to it. Like, that's some commitment, but you know what? The guy's like totally recognizable. And, and going off that, I was like, I need to just not be a bitch and just, just, you know, dip it in the blood every month, you know, <laughs> just do this shit. And, and um, it's just been that for, seven, man, it's crazy to say it out loud, fucking six, seven years. When was the last time you got a haircut? I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Anytime it gets past my eyes, it just kind of bugs me. Yeah. At this point, like, I remember, like, back when it was, like, I don't know. Actually, I used to have dreadlocks. And then, believe it or not, I cut off, like, an inch or two. I just read online that you could undo them. I was like, people were like, it's crazy, man. You're crazy. You can't undo dreads. So... I just cut like an inch or two, inch or two off, so it's not like the not a tip, but like up, and then just like left my head soaking in like conditioner and like oils for like, I don't know, a long time, and I did that like a few times. My hair was super gross; it was disgusting. And then I just literally sat there with like a beer and like watching TV. This is before Netflix. This was like 2010. This is like right when I graduated, and I'm just sitting there in a bathtub, just on un, like uncombing one dread maybe per day. Wow. Took me about 30 to 40 days, you oh, know. Wow. So, like, for a while, about half my head was red. It's was, was like spatch. I didn't want to do it red. At first, I just started doing half. And I was like, okay, this is weird. So, I started doing this spatchy. So, this, like, regular hair and stuff. And then, all of a sudden, because I used to have really curly hair, I, like, undid all the dreads. And then my hair's grown and been pulled and fallen off since, you know, I've had a whole, it's been a long time, like, almost 10 years. And fucking uh, now my hair is super straight. Like I don't straighten my hair. This is what it looks like. Hmm. But pre dread, it was curly. And and then I undid my dreads, and then now it's never been the same. <laughs> but it's a bullshit. If someone, unless I guess, unless you have like, you know, African hair, where that shit is locked forever. Like the hair strand is like just that's it, no going back. But if you have hair like this, it's bullshit. You can actually comb uncomb your dreads. But it takes a fucking eternity. Bet, so when you dreaded your hair, did, how did you make them into dreads? Oh, the totally white guy version, dude. You know, I, I like grew up someone... in a town of only like Mexicans. I grew up about five minutes north of the border. So like no one even knew what dreads were. No one had, <laughs> you know, no one in my school had dreads. So it was like just like, like this or like. So, so yeah, I had a friend of mine. She's like, oh, I think I know what I'm doing. And yeah. we just sectioned my hair into a bunch of little areas you know like just got like a i don't know inch per inch piece of hair like just did a bunch of squares like with little rubber bands it just like it had a lot of and um i went to this school in south texas over there this isn't even private school this is public school and they're just so bible belt ass backwards oh, fucking texas, thinking for sure that you couldn't have your hair couldn't touch your shoulder it had to be shorter than that because it's a distraction to the learning environment. And that's not how men were created to have long hair. And, oh, you know, yeah. like, God damn it. Yeah. So I battled with have that. Have you seen a picture school. of Jesus? Like, that was my <laughs> argument. I was like, what about Jesus? <laughs> I always bring that shit up to piss them off. But the point was, is that they, they I fought with them and I'd always like try to put it up in a ponytail and I'm walking by the security. <laughs> and they, sometimes you'd be like, well, no, 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 take that shit down. I got, we got to measure it. And they, you know, so this is like the last two weeks of high school and this guy comes up to me, security guard. And he's like, Hey man, you already know what I'm going to tell you. We've, we've been dealing with this through all of grade school. You're about to graduate, man. Just cut it one more time. I'm like, dude, I got, I got two more weeks of school, man. Just let me, let me have this last like inch or whatever. He's like, Hey, you know, if you don't, if we're going to send me to principal office and they said, if you don't cut it, you can't even walk the aisle. Oh, like you gosh. can't, you can't even like do your graduation because it's just a power trip. yeah it's exactly like, you know and i dealt with this my whole life and i was like whatever and then it was the last moment i was like you know what fuck graduation and then my parents are like no i'm coming on you're gonna go to yeah. go to <laughs> kick your ass you don't fucking walk the shit and your people from mexico are coming to say oh fuck okay so what could you do so i went to go talk to the superintendent and to the higher ups and i was just like guys What's the per who made this rule? Oh, he made it. What is it? No, she made it. And it just went to the very top of the chain. <laughs> Finally got to the top boss final level. Dude, please 
tell me, can you just, I'll cut my hair, but please tell me what is the reason for it? Why do you make people cut their hair? I've seen this has been a rule since the 70s. I don't know what fucking, when the shit was made, you know. It's because long hair is a distraction to the learning environment. Literally his words. I was like, you know, if I cut my hair tomorrow, so many people are so used to seeing me with long hair that if I cut my hair tomorrow, it would be a distraction. Be a distraction. And he's like, son, that's what he's trying to, you know, oh. tell me some bullshit, right? So then that's when I was like, fuck it. I heard that when you get dreads, your hair gets shorter. You know, like if, like if I were to dread my hair right now, it would shorten up by like probably this much because it crumbles up. Yeah, it scrunches up. So I had some random friend of mine. She's like, I think I know what I'm doing, you know, and she... It grabs a piece of hair, right? Like in sections. And then they just comb backwards. I'll do a little bit so you see it. But it starts going like that, oh you see? God. But you do that oh. like a hundred times. And then it's just like this clump of hair. Uh -huh. And what I didn't know is that what makes a dread look nice is time. It's like the hair getting <laughs> real tight and oily and sick. And oh, yeah. so when you first do it, <laughs> you look like fucking sideshow Bob. No one told me that shit. <laughs> so I had this fucking like pineapple head oh, like man. that last two weeks of school. Fuck, why did I do this? And I was like, well, and I and I grew up in a school. I'm telling you, the population was like 95% Mexicans, Hispanics, and then like small percentage of like white people. I didn't meet a black dude till like I was like 18, dude. <laughs> I, I met my first Asian friend. Like it, it was like very, 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 very. It was like Mexico, America, dude. You know, so like dread is just unheard of. But there was like one, one black kid in the school. But he was like from Honduras, which was even funny to be like speak English. You know, so, but I think he had like little dreads, you know, like little tiny things. So I was like, okay, if they give me shit, I'm gonna be like. Well, he is just too. <laughs> oh so it's like you know, I was just I was a little shit, you know. I was a little, I was a, I was a teenage shit, you know. And just just like, okay, so I walk into the school last week of school, and I got this fucking pineapple head, and everybody's like, they never see dreads before. Number one and number two, it, it was like funny looking dreads. It was like this first stage is the shy chill Bob. What the fuck? Oh my god. dude, I got pulled into the principal's office right away. What are you trying to do? I was like, listen, man. I saw in the handbook, the only hairstyles that are allowed is it's above your shoulder and it's a natural hairstyle. This is like the most <laughs> natural shit. The most natural this is like hairstyle the you first, can ever This get. is like the first hairstyle of all hairstyles, yeah. you know? And uh, I just thought it would be cool to have that. For, I just made my bullshit thing. And they're just so furious. And of course, they're like, well, you can't get dreads. It's like, why? What's wrong with dreads, dude? <laughs> and I built that whole card. They were just like, checkmate, man. Just let him do the, f you better wear your fucking pin it on because it wouldn't yeah. even fit. <laughs> let him put it on and fit it in. And then after that, I tried to live with them for like a year and it was just like, it had like a permanent beanie on your head. And you live in Texas, it's fucking suicide. It was so stupid. If I lived in, I don't know, Montreal or Germany or something, Matt, you know, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, it's, um, that's why. Yeah. And when you headbang, we're playing the shows just like, a blunt slapping you in the face over <laughs> here. So that's my dread story. Yeah. Stupid Texas. Love it. I they hate just, Texas. They just got to change their laws and yeah. quit being so goddamn serious. They're a little bit behind on the laws. The gun laws are pretty sweet. You live in Austin? Oh, shit, I live in Arizona. Gun laws are just the same in there. Yeah, they're about the same here, I think. Yeah, what's the gun laws here? What's that like? You can just There's have guns. No gun laws. You just like <laughs> ha you can just have a gun. It's cool. Yeah, I think you like can't hide your gun and walk around in public. I think I you can't that, like, like concealed carry. You gotta you have to open carry. Yeah. We're in Las Vegas for everyone who's listening. Live from Las Vegas. Live from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Cops just busted. Yeah, because New York, it's like a gun's like super illegal, right? Yeah, like, same with California. I don't think like anyone's allowed to have a gun. Same with Cali? Yeah, Cali, you, there's so many laws. You have to have like less than 10 bullets in your gun. And mo same with like New York and like I believe. Chicago is a gun-free state. You're not allowed to have guns. And they have the Chicago? <laughs> or Illinois. My bad. Chicago yeah. is the main city that yeah. it's crazy. But it's crazy. they also have like the number one murder 
I wonder if there's well, like a, I've heard that there's like laws that say something like if you're traveling across X amount of states, it's a, you're allowed to have a gun on you. Like if you're like in a, so I'm wondering for this upcoming tour. I, don't I wonder would if I should take be safer and not bring a gun. Texas back. In. <laughs> I would just not bring. <laughs> yeah, it's just not a good idea to go through the Canadian border. <laughs> we got guns. <laughs> 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 Don't mind us. We just got some Corona in the ice chest and a pack of guns in the trailer. <laughs> All right, you guys want to wrap this up? Yeah, wrap it up. As, yeah. Sweet. Thank you guys for doing this first podcast in the books. Thank you guys for watching. Woo. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>